How come microwave companies still put all those stupid buttons on there when we only use like four of them? Come on, look me in the eye and tell me you actually use the seven on the number pad. So what Lee Jackson amp am I referring to in the title of this video? Well, specifically, we are talking about this guy. This is the Crate GT100H Stealth from the early 90s, I believe. Uh, this amp was, in fact, designed by Lee Jackson when he worked for Ampeg. And uh, it, uh, it's, it has the same output stage as the uh, VL1002s, uh, I believe, which, uh, you know, he also designed while he was there, I believe. Uh, so, you know, they're all made in the same factory, all owned by St. Louis Music, etc., etc. So they made the decision to uh, just go ahead and include that same output stage here in the crate stealth. These are really, really hard to find. And this one popped up. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because honestly, I think I paid about half of what it's worth. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and uh, I grabbed it because I knew I was never going to. Not only am I probably, I mean, I'll see, I'll I'm sure I'll see another one, but not that price. So, uh, you know, and if you follow my channel for any length of time at all, you know that I am uh, a huge fan of crate amps and, uh, you know, especially their tube amps. This one is the one that you don't see very often because they just, you know, people just, they hang on to them. Um, you know, and I think a lot of that has to do with the, uh, you know, the Ampeg uh, relation. A lot of people seem to think it's the exact same amp as the Ampeg uh, uh, VL1002, uh, but it's not. It is, you know, the front end is quite a bit different. Some people back when these were current, some people were calling these, uh, I don't know, it was the JCM 800 killer, but it was, uh, it was known as a JCM 800 killer. And you can certainly, uh, you can certainly hear it in the tone of this thing. It sounds great. I, I, I really, really like this amp. Let's give it a listen.
These came in two different versions. There's a 100 watt version, which is what I have here, and they also came in a uh, the other one was either 50 or 60 watt version. Uh, you know, four EL34s, three preamp tubes, and this thing is ungodly loud. I mean, it is it's ungodly loud and it is insanely heavy. This thing feels like it weighs about 80 pounds. <laughs> I think it weighs more than any other 100 watt head that I own. This thing is an absolute tank. The guitar community has recently discovered that this amp was, in fact, designed by Lee Jackson. And, uh, you know, now that people know who Lee Jackson is, you know, back when this thing came out, nobody knew who he was. Uh, but now they do. And now they're aware that this is this is uh, part of his body of work. And now, because of that, they're really, really hard to find. And when they do pop up, they they usually go for a fair amount of money, you know, $800,000 or so, give or take. Those are the last couple that I've seen sell. So, at any rate, thank you very much for letting me share this amp with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing down below, drop me a comment, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.